Welcome students in my new tutorial based upon Adobe Photoshop and today I'll be using two tools quick selection tool and magic wand tool although it may look like similar but it's not similar so what's the major difference actually the magic wand tool is a selection tool it allows you to quickly select areas of your images and make independent edits to it whereas this quick selection tool it selects pixel based upon similarities in the color and tone in an image okay but both the tools are very useful and how to use it suppose in this kind of image where this aeroplane is there and uh, i want to select this full aeroplane both the tools can be useful but here uh, magic wand tool can be used very easily why because the background color is nearly same and when this kind of scenario is there uh, magic wand tool can work perfectly so how to use it suppose i have selected this because the background tone is nearly same so firstly i'll see the option bar here the four options are there this earlier also i have taught you this is for new selection this is for add to selection so i have selected this one only so i'll not go in that much depth so that my tutorial should be short one so after this i'll try to select this aeroplane firstly i'll just click it here you could see here it has selected the boundary of the aeroplane and the color also of the sky because there is no variations of color in the sky only here there might be some variation but because i have selected this option add to selection so if i click it here it will select all okay and just to see whether it's been selected or not i'll just click on quick mask mode so it's showing only this part is not selected so i'll come out from quick mask tool but actually here the selection is been made of the sky not of the aeroplane i'll show you how firstly i'll try to insert one image suppose this image i want to take so i'll just drag it and i'll place it along with the side of this aeroplane so suppose this image has been loaded because it's logged i'll double click it just to unlock it so now my both the images are loaded what i'll do i'll try to copy as i'll copy control c and i'll try to paste it on the top control v you could see here nothing has been pasted only the sky has been pasted the same thing i was wanting to tell you so here i'll press control z to undo and i'll come back to my original image here only the sky has been selected so i have to opposite the selection inverse the selection and for that i can click on select and inverse shortcut is shift control i or control shift i anyway you could it could work i'll press it now you could see here only this aeroplane has been selected i'll press control c now control c for copy then i'll go to the second image and then i'll press control v so see it's very easy here very easily i have pasted and within seconds i was able to do the selection i have not used any one of the lasso tools it's take plenty of time to use these tools but with this both the tools quick selection and magic wand tool they can do wonders and within no time i can select the images i can press control t to make this image little smaller so it looks realistic now to make the thing more realistic i want to insert one tree here so that also i have already inserted on my drive you can download it so i'll select that object also in my objects i have used png file now this png files are transparent files okay so i'll use one of the image and i'll provide you in my link i'll just drag it and drag it here somewhere as a smart image so it's here and i'll press enter key it's actually smart object it is inserted as a smart object in actually the advantage of smart object is that the quality of the image will not go down if i'll decrease the size okay so 
I just placed it somewhere here and uh, this uh, aeroplane I'll just place it somewhere this side just to make it more realistic so it's okay actually my main example was to teach you how to use uh, magic wand tool I hope this concept is clearer to you now I'll take the another example in that example I'll teach you how to use quick selection tool okay I hope this one is okay now for that purpose I'll use some other image so I'll take suppose this image basket of fruits I'll just drag it down this will be my separate image this I want to actually copy and uh, one other image I want to take this one table with objects where I want to place this fruit or basket okay so I'll just drag this one also here this is separate image yes I'll unclick it in this case also okay this is open only so now I want to copy this whole basket of fruits now here actually again I want to use magic wand tool will it work now just see if I select it, it's not selecting in a proper way because there are more color variations here. In the case of aeroplane, it has copied. Here it's not working. So now here I'll press Ctrl D. Now here this uh, quick selection tool. This will work. Yes, of course, W is the keyboard shortcut. Now this will work properly here. Again with this, on the top you could see different options here. Uh, but I'll use this one only second add to add to selection so now because it works in a continuous way that means if I'll start selecting you could see here it has started selecting it has started selecting the grapes so because here directly I'm working on the objects which I want to copy so it started selecting you could see here so very easily I am able to select the whole basket so it's very easy you could see I'll just check this in my quick mask tool so I'll just select add it in quick mask tool just to have a look whether everything has been selected or not seeing that everything has been selected okay to have a proper look Yes, here a little bit I will select more. Here also. Here also. Here also. But here little bit blackish part is there. For that actually I will select this one. Minus one. Okay. Subtract. So I will select this. Now if I will do any selection it will subtract. But it has selected more again. Now this that, that much I have to do. And... Uh, while subtracting always I can press caps lock key to see how much is the size of my selection so I'll make it smaller and now I can minus if anything is more like here like here and then press space bar key just to move the image okay so that you can play along with it so seems it's okay now here also I need a little bit to add more and here to minus so that little bit okay it seems okay now now I can press control C okay Control C, the process is same. Control C, and I hope I had made you clear that why I have used magic wand tool here because it is working proper in a proper way and it controls the different variations of the color. So now I'll use to my another image table with objects where I want to copy it. So I'll press Control V, it's something like this, and here is the space, so I want to paste it here. Control T of course to make it smaller and I'll place it here a little bit like this 
make it more smaller just to have a realistic look it's okay now i pasted it and now just to have a more realistic look i want to give it shadow also because in this image it seems uh, the light is coming from the left side so i'll right click it here where the layer is present i'll right click and i'll go to blending modes and here i'll use drop shadow you could see the shadow is coming this side no it should come this side so i'll change the angle here now it's looking a little realistic here the gray color is less mine is more so i'll little bit i'll opacity i'll work with the opacity now it seems matching because with the shadow only it will look realistic and then i'll click on okay now you see so in this way i was able to teach you about the use of quick selection tool and magic wand tool both are very beautiful tool and within no time i was able to copy the part of the image in different scenarios and paste it in another part so i hope you will enjoy this tutorial now if you like my explanation do like share and comment and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it okay bye bye take care meet you soon with the next tutorial